we call this the natural Viagra. <laughs> very important guys to try to live your best life and if it includes helping others I think in my opinion it's the best so where are we today look at the view behind me huh so beautiful look at the mountains I mean, you cannot ask for more than that. Jamaica, it's definitely the best place for me at least to be right now in my life. So we are on the top of the hills in Kingston, Jack's Hills. Jack's Hills. I have to show you my room, guys, because it's so beautiful and I have to show you that okay no i have i want to show you that okay because i don't have to do anything and you do not have to do anything as well this is life you just do what you want not what you have i mean some people have to do some things but if you have the mindset the right mindset that you would say to yourself i want to do it instead i have to do it i want to go to the gym I get to go to the gym. Instead, I have to go to the gym. This is a completely, totally different mindset. Okay, guys. So, no further uh, words with, with that being said. This is my view from here. From this beautiful place. And I just put my flip-flops. This is where I just... Look at this bat. With this beautiful view. But this is not the, one, the thing that I want to show you because this is not the room. Now we go into the room. You will see what I'm talking about. We have a very interesting room. But uh, I don't want to extend with words too much, you know. Just want to show you. Okay. So. Okay. All organized. Right. So look at that. Very spacious. We have two sofas. Uh, I don't know how you call these beds. King size bed, queen beds. I'm not good at beds. Like I don't know the sizes too much. But what we have here is a nice storage area that comes with this. Ah, oh, nice, nice sofa, you know, but if you look, or I will look right now, you will see this beautiful picture behind the bed. Look at that, huh? Such a beautiful picture. I mean, this is, in my opinion, changes the whole room and give it a very interesting atmosphere. Another sofa, guys, over here. Okay. That's a comfortable one as well. All right. But this is the mirror. And this is me, guys, in the mirror. All right. This is not the end. Okay. I'm debating what to show you first. Because we have a nice house tree that maybe I want to show you but before I want to show you the house tree I want to take you to the toilet and the, and the bathroom okay let's do that okay so if you're ever wondering how it is to shower in the nature there it is hello how are you we have the toilet here, guys. And look at that. Whoa. <laughs> okay, I need to transfer. I need to transfer that to this one, you know, in order for this not to 
Okay, I'm not quite sure. Okay, we have like pictures. We don't need to guess. So this one. Okay, and we can turn it into wow. So this is the this is the atmosphere, guys. So the water goes down from here, and this is the atmosphere. The atmosphere is of a quiet, quiet jungle. Look at that. What do you need more than that? Just very, very quiet. Very, very calm. And I mean, if this is what you wish in your vacation here in Jamaica and Kingston, you definitely get a different vibe. Okay. Now we're gonna show you what I wanted to show you before. All right. Gonna do it. Of course you have the sofas here. You can sit and chill, sit and talk with each other. It is amazing. You know, it's all covered with trees. So you have a lot of shade here in this area. So you don't need to have some, you know, some sun uh, shady area. You just, you get like it, you get it like naturally. But let's continue guys and show you the best spot that you have on this room, in this room. And this is where you want to chill, really, you know. Huh, you just sit here, bring some maybe alcohol, bring your coffee in the morning, and get this view. So, I think you got the whole experience, and from here, we're gonna go to a very interesting restaurant. It's gonna be as you all know me guys an interesting chapter with coconut sugar genique that already been with me in one of my best videos one of my best yeah one of the best videos that i did called the ital the secret of the ital cuisine yeah this is the name so let's just go and begin our day with this beautiful view in front of us ah Guys, another thing, of course, if you want to see this room, you know, before I go down, if you want to be in this room, the link in the description to the Airbnb you can just book it very easily. With this beautiful view from Kingston, I'm on Jack's Hill, about to go down to Kingston, to the city. It will be a task because Actually, I need to catch a taxi or just a car that is uh, going on this road. So, what we have today? A chapter with Janique. I don't know if you missed her, but we're gonna film a chapter with her in a restaurant in Kingston. Supposed to be the most expensive restaurant in Kingston. And the food is idle food, is vegetarian food also supposed to be very good food so what are we gonna do how are we gonna go down this is the task because not a lot of cars are going on that road and this is why it become like a mission to go down so i think i might call an uber or i just wait a little bit and then catch a car let's see let me think so i'm trying to get the uber guys let's see if they will confirm but meanwhile, I'm just here on the top of the mountain. I mean, I can never, you know, be fed up looking on these kind of views. Never. I think even if I live here, every day it's like, wow. Wow, amazing, beautiful, incredible. Let's see. Just a second, if I have a taxi here. Can you take me down, please? Mm -hmm. Can you take me down? Where are you going? I'm going to Living Food uh, Juices. You know the restaurant? Yeah, but that's... No, just if you can drop me down, it's okay. Oh. All right, so I got a ride. In the last moment, 
after I already ordered the Uber but no one confirmed so now when we are off the hill we need to get a taxi over there and now I'm debating if to take the Rao taxi or the Uber so let me check and see if you have a route takes it directly to here and then we'll see what we do there is actually a, a here one let's see for how much maybe he's gonna take me to there let's see all right guys so surprisingly the lady that uh, took me off the hill just surprised me right now and gonna take me to the restaurant so she don't want to be on a camera so I won't uh, put her on the camera but uh, thank you very much You're that's welcome. amazing <laughs> and uh, yeah we're just on our way there right now okay guys so I'm still waiting for Janik not still waiting she's here I wait for her like around one hour this is her car she's gonna park her car and we finally gonna go and enter the restaurant that is located right here so you know what is jamaican times guys so i don't need to tell you to those of you in jamaica you know one hour sometimes can take much more than one hour and five minutes can be sometimes couple of hours so janik is a little bit in a hurry today and i believe that we still gonna make it and gonna do the chapter as i planned and everything will be good because Janique and Coconut Sugar, this is her name on YouTube by the way, need to have uh, need to take a flight today in around four hours or five hours from now. So we're gonna do our best. So let's see where she is, let's say to her hello and let's make her a little bit rush. Where is Coconut Sugar is parking her car? She was just here, if I just saw. Where is she? Is? I don't understand. Where is she? Is? Where did she go? Okay guys, apparently the parking is taking a little bit more time as well. So, let me tell you a little bit about this restaurant. This restaurant located here at Lane Plaza. A lot of people in Kingston know this restaurant. It's considered to be also a very expensive restaurant and the thing is that is a vegetarian food I was invited to this restaurant by the owner here called Carrie never saw her before she approached me on Instagram and she told me that she wanted me to come to a restaurant and I like Jamaican food I like vegetarian food and I like to promote Jamaica in general and the businesses in Jamaica so it's a great honor for me to come here and promote this business and uh, yeah I see Janique she finally made it coconut sugar Hello. we've been waiting for you so long I'm sorry. <laughs> all good I already got already got used to Jamaican time so all good very good I already got, got <laughs> you to know it. that <laughs> yeah this yeah for you Oh, it's thank a small you. piece of Christmas cake. Christmas cake? It's the fruit cake? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So where are you flying, by the way? I'm going to Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> wow. Yes. This is an interesting country that I want to visit as well. Yeah. I'm going very soon to Dominican Republic. Oh, nice. But I'm going to come back here. I've heard amazing things about that place. Haven't been there? No. No. I want to, though. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Are you? This is, are you Carrie? No, I'm not. Okay. She's okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh, I like the place. Let's see the lightning. Yeah, it seems a little bit that we need a little bit more light, but is it kind of dark? I think okay. so for the for the, for the filming for the camera it's a little bit dark. Okay. Because it depends where we're gonna sit. I think if we're gonna sit there, yeah, it's gonna be good. Light. Yeah. And this, this seems to be so good. Yeah. What did you say? Sorry? There seems to be some lights up there that she could probably turn Shh, on. Exactly, it's also a possibility. Yeah. So, Coconut Sugar, do you want to present yourself a little Hello! bit? Hello! <laughs> For those who didn't see me in the last vlog, it's yeah. me, <laughs> the one and only Coconut Sugar. <laughs> <laughs> so, there is a video of both of us guys, and uh, it's called uh, Secrets of the Idol Cuisine. Go check it out, it's a very good one in Camila's restaurant. 
And now we are here. Hello. I'm great. Are you Kerry? Carrie, okay. I like the the costume, Carrie. That's amazing. <laughs> like 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 the head, the outfit, the outfit, yeah. not the costume. No, I'm. A, I know. Sorry, it's, it's I'm not a native fun. English. Yes, yeah. I'm not a native a native English okay. speaker. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Nice. Hi, I'm coconut sugar. Coconut can, sugar. Is that my online presence? But my real name is Janik. Nice to meet you. All right. So welcome to Living Food and Juices. Yes. Sorry for the late. Yeah. That's okay. Better late than never. Okay. Exactly. All right, so you can you want to choose that table? I'm looking for more light. Exactly, we're gonna looking for more light. Yes. So explain to me a little bit about this cast about this costume, about this outfit. outfit. <laughs> this outfit costume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm getting uh, confused a little bit. That's okay. You're not tired, right? No, I'm not tired. Okay. I'm fully awake. All right. Just so need to work a little bit on my English. <laughs> you will get there, especially when you're in Jamaica, right? Yeah, right? yeah. for sure. Coconut I have good right? teachers here. You should sprinkle a little bit of coconut sugar yeah, on your for me. Today, oh, right? thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so my oh, my infants. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I see. Wow. All right. So, of course, living food and juices. Just a second, because it, it, against the light. So the light? Yeah, yeah, the light. So yeah, yeah, here it will be perfect. Yes. Okay. So. Living Food and Juices is my second baby. However, Carrie Case was my first baby. Oh. So, of course, being a designer and a food designer, so it's entirely I'm a creative designer. Okay. Right. So, designing food. So, yes, this is what it is. It's just my. It looks amazing. Thank you very much. And my head covering. This is like yeah. from. This is originally the, the from head from Africa. Ethiopia? Right. Yeah, exactly. all right. You yeah. Know, just because the colors also like the the Rastafari, yeah, the Rastafari, Rastafari colors, colors, yeah. high vibrational colors. I like it. Yeah. All right, you're okay. So welcome. Thank you. Kerry, this is your restaurant. What? This is my restaurant. Another question, like before you're gonna serve us the food, mm -hmm. uh, what motivated you to open uh, this uh, restaurant? This restaurant. Yeah. Right, so I was looking and seeing you know, our people, uh, of course, could look better. Okay. And could feel better because I've heard a lot of complaints, even having Kerry boutique as a designer, a lot of my women would come and be like, Oh my god, Kerry, my arms are too big, my my legs are too big. So I'm like, okay. They would come and get 10, 12, 15 outfits that look amazing on them and leave. But after they leave, it is still the sense of okay, the fact the, the outfits are fabulous, but underneath that outfit there's still a need to be fulfilled. And so I start studying the science of plant-based food. Okay. So I went from, and then my, a, a little sad one, well, however, I'm still grateful for the life. She was there, my aunt who used to make my meals. She, one Christmas like now, she just fell sick. And I'm like, oh God, we used to eat healthy. We used to be the healthiest two of okay. the whole clan. And she just fell sick. And in a couple of months, she was gone from liver conditions. So I decided, okay, nobody else is gonna go like that. I'm gonna do my best. To educate myself and educate my people and serve my people in this manner. That's beautiful. So of course I went to study the science of plant-based food. There's so many hacks I can just run through them quickly. Okay. So the, the science of plant-based food. I did. I'm a raw food chef. I'm right. also a, a, a vegan chef. I don't like to use the word vegan. Okay. <laughs> However, so I I say a plant-based chef. I'm also a raw plant-based dessert chef oh why i wow. did that was it's the nice. best way to take people over into this kind of lifestyle sweet food right <laughs> sweet food sweet definitely. but healthy sweet yes, healthy yes. Sweet. sweet that is that is actually an antibiotic right. cleaning of the system okay right, so later on you'll see more about my cakes but however i'm also a juice service practitioner and i'm certified by the american association for jugless practitioners which simply means that we use plants to help you help your physical structure to heal itself right that's beautiful right. i actually the one that picked me up today from jack hills she told me that she knows your restaurant and she comes here for the juices all the time beautiful. So. so while we serve the juices and we serve the juices cold press only so we do not blend and water sugar that's good. cane juice nothing like that it's cold press because that's how the body assimilates food for healing from a cellular level. 
And the cleanest way to do it is by cold pressing the juice, allow the body to stop working and to just pull the nutrients right. from whatever it's getting and juice is the deepest form. And gotcha. teas, which will be served. She's speaking my language. And you've been here before <laughs> by the way as well, language. right? I think I came once before, you know, but it was um. very late. I don't think she was here. Okay. And they were almost closing and they were kind enough to let me in because I was so hungry oh. and it was late and they were like two minutes to close in and they still let me in and I, okay. I was able to get food. So, yeah. All right. All right. So now you have like a, you close the circle, you know? Like yes. yeah. it's a beautiful song. new experience now here. I'm gonna start setting okay. some tables. For Let's you do guys. it. And I'm gonna do tea first and dessert. Nice. Why am I okay. gonna do dessert first? So tea is going to warm you, and and what we have in the tea is gonna help start stimulating digestion, which okay. that's how you should enter your your feast, right? right. Also, by having your dessert first, it's putting the sweeter food down. So when you put the, the rest of food down, it comes out of the body clean instead of putting the fruit, the sweet last and fermentation To starts. fermentation. Right, right. Exactly. So yeah. And then you get stuck I, in the cola and a lot of so nasty much. stuff in there. Oh, girl, like when you brought me to Jamaica, we still get cali. Uh, yeah, I know, I know a lot of people yeah. told me that you should not eat fruits or sweets before. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But we we used to that like everywhere to yeah. eat sweets after sorry sweet after after, right? after. Yeah. before that you so exactly so well all your fiber now will help to push all of that out and as she said to create a monkey internal okay. system so let's, let's do it some let's tea. do it okay. so you 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 familiar with that like you you yeah that's that's how i live my life so, so last year i you know my story of course and if they don't know they can go watch the video oh, yeah. <laughs> or you know look at my channel i have some um, content on there but when i was growing up i was vegan but we weren't the vegan i am today or the plant-based i am today is much different from the plant-based i was then okay so sometime last year i learned about nature cure and about well cure it's about allowing the body to cure itself instead of putting medicine even natural medicines it's even like natural medicines like natural, herbs you yeah mean? instead of herbs allowing the body to heal itself by giving it non-toxic alkaline foods okay. and so sometimes last year i switched up my diet i used to eat a lot of high fat a lot of high protein but now my split is like 80 10 10 so 80 percent of my calories from carbs okay. and those carbs are mostly simple carbs so fruit vegetables like tomatoes natural things right okay and then 10% from fat, so maybe a handful of nuts here and there, um, and then 10% protein. So you thinking like, you know, your chickpeas, your dal, and different other sources of plant-based protein. And what that hap what that meant was my diet went from, I don't know, maybe 10% raw to like 80% raw. And last year I lost like 20 pounds. Wow. Um, yeah, I lost about 20 to 30 pounds. Just I wasn't even exercising or anything. I was just eating like that making sure I get enough sleep, so 8 to 10 hours of sleep per night, and my moderate exercise, just okay. maybe three times a week or something. And so. I, I know wholeheartedly that, that that's the best way to eat because I felt so alive and light in my body, eating that way, like 80% raw. When I came to Kingston la last year, um, that, you know, with the work and stress, that kind of got switched up a bit, and I ended up eating more more higher fat content um, and I gained 20 pounds within the last year of moving to Kingston. Wow. Yeah, just from stress from work, not, not sticking to my 80% raw, 10% fat, 10% protein, uh, maximum 10%. 10% protein maximum. Maximum 10% fat from calories, 10% fat from protein, no more than that. Wow. Yeah, so I, I, I really resonate, what she's saying really yeah, resonates yeah. with me. Yeah. For me, it's like it's like very like uh, to flip my thinking about how I eat because, like I said before, I'm used to eat sweets after. Yeah. And most people. Yeah, most in the people. World, yeah. Yeah, most people in the world. And it's yeah. best for us right now to unlearn for us to. Food combinations as well, right? Yes. Very important. Very and important. That's what we do here. So you can taste that. And it looks like I hibiscus, smell, right? Yeah, yeah, I smell it hibiscus. It has other herbs in it. It's just amazing. Ginger. Wow, really, very, very powerful scent. Mm. Wow, that's I good. Love it. 
I love and it. So okay. instead of that is um, we have lemon and that's Jamaican lemon and that's and, uh, a, a half, half of a slice of orange. So you have the two different. Mm. I can okay. taste it. You taste it, right? So that's really good for that's the That's really good, yeah. It's very subtle, but I can taste it. Mm. All right, so I'll take, I'll take wow. all the desserts and then we go to the other side. Thank you. So you're basically telling me that your nutrition today is like preventing putting in your body the food that it actually makes it heal in a way yes yeah, so avoiding these kind of foods avoiding no avoiding or the kind of ratio foods. also yes, the ratio is important like the protein ratio yeah the ratio because in the past year i've gained 20 pounds is coming to keep and yes i've had some foods that i particularly believe are not really alkaline i've had coffee here and there which is not something that i really and you like don't drink have all the time you don't drink coffee anymore no i no that's what i'm saying in the in the in the, the year when i changed my diet up i drank no coffee ah no coffee. okay but since coming to kingston you know there's work sometimes you're tired for sure you just need a pick me up it's not a good pick me up <laughs> it's not a good pick me up it's not but I, I i i um i got back into compromising and drinking coffee here and then you know they have a coffee they put like your plant-based milk like your almond milk or oat milk inside that again is fat okay that's from the nuts right and so it's not that i have been eating unhealthily in the past year it's just the ratio that has changed and i've gained 20 pounds just from changing ratio okay i'm still eating whole foods i'm still eating natural foods i'm not eating as much fruits as i used to um which is ironic because people think fruit makes you fat but fruit makes me lose weight for me as well yeah so i never really understood why people said that i um, i think it's lack of information and lack of knowledge you know mm -hmm. like yeah, i agree about uh fruit, fruit. I, I read in a book um there's this book called um, 80 10 10 by dr greg i think his name is greg graham Okay. Is it Greg Graham? Or Douglas Graham, something like that. He said that the reason why people think that fruit makes you fat is because when you eat a, a high percentage of fruits and your diet also has a high percentage of fat, so the people who eat meat mm. and a lot of fatty foods, okay. the fat stays in the bloodstream and holds onto the sugar and prevents it from moving quickly along that to be burnt as energy all right so then you end up gaining weight but if your diet is low fat and eating a lot of fruit there's no problem because it goes right from your bloodstream it's the most readily available source of energy so they connected it to the fruits but it's, it's the not, other it's food it's not the eating. fruit yes mm. it's the combination yeah. well i think like you know like nutrition in general and i find it here especially in jamaica is something that people are really interested about and you know we've been also to Camila's kitchen and now right. we are here in the living food and juices living food juices right yeah. the place called yeah living food and, juices. and of course guys i will put the link to her instagram account of the living food juices she has a very active um, instagram account and i will put the link how you get here like from google maps that you will be able to come here and enjoy the restaurant and um, but i think like you really need to focus on your channel wow just a second i'm like <laughs> by and of course guys it's look colorful but i'm 100 percent sure that none of this it's an artificial colors it's Absolute only natural, natural colors color. so yeah, yeah it's natural color and we can tell you everything wow. that makes this so natural and as we say about our cakes we just fork in love these cakes <laughs> i like so that it's here and i'll show you Okay. Fork in love our cake. Ah, wow. I fork in love okay. you guys. Ah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look so at that guys. That. Yeah. I, I fork in love you too. I <laughs> like oh, it. That's good. <laughs> that's good. Okay. So let's begin. No, let, is she gonna walk us through but, one? Okay, okay, part? yeah. Let, walk right. us through this uh, one, and explain so to us a little all, bit. This is our because I I want people to come into desserts and understand that they are not just having desserts for sweet but for the healing factor of eating. So this row here, this front row here, is my fermented nut cheesecake. So it's entirely raw. Okay. okay. All right. So right here I have my coconut tropical activated charcoal. Nice. Not food cake, wow. and this cake, as well as it is beautiful and our number two selling cake, it pulls toxins from the body. 
this here is our our berry wild berry jelly and this here this beautiful color is from the wild berries in Jamaica ah, here yeah. so this is the berry raspberry right raspberry mm. raspberry blackberry yeah the, the wild the bush with right, the thorns. exactly yeah. and then on top also that jelly there that has seaweed that is extremely good for you Okay. And the third one there is chocolate and it's real cacao. You call it cacao. Chocolate, we're we talking about this one? Yes. This, this one, one is the chocolate Next with one. berry and and what helps to give it that color also is beets. Mm. Okay. Beetroot. Mm -hmm. Beetroot, Beet okay. exactly. And here is our best selling cake. This is our Ooh. tiramisu. Oh. And the tiramisu okay. is just amazing. This is always number two, but I. I pull it for a while and I'm doing this one with the activated charcoal so it would be this this and we have a triple chocolate oh, nice. those are the top ones this now is a part of the top one and right here is our fruit cake so you know mm, Jamaican like Christmas oh, cake for me it looked like yeah. a brownie but like apparently it's not a brownie <laughs> Right, so it okay. is. It is our fruit cake. So we, we give you a lot of fruits. This one we do it with alcohol or without alcohol, okay. and we also here on top of it is our date coconut cream. Nice. This one, so the cream on the top. The cream mm. on the top. Okay. Right. And it, and it's beautifully presented as well. Thank you very much. Beautifully yeah. presented, and I never heard in my life about um, desserts that's supposed to clean my body. Usually, it does the opposite. <laughs> But this is going to be your antioxidant, of course. It's just amazing, the desserts. It well, looks so good. Right. Let's okay. just, let's start and try it. Okay. From what so are you going to start? Uh, this, if you want to use a smaller one. <laughs> let's, let's, I'm going to start from the charcoal. Charcoal? All yeah. right. You're going to start from yeah, the charcoal. So, so. Okay. I'm yeah. going to start from the tiramisu. Oh, the, the, the best selling one. Okay, the best selling one. Tell me what do you think. Let's cheers. 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 <laughs> good <laughs> it's open up the flavors oh my god what did you start with the charcoal oh the charcoal tell me tell me tell okay me. i'm this gonna is like praise jesus <laughs> this tastes so good okay i've from never me, I will had with tiramisu. i've never had vegan cheesecake this good in my life wow no i need that on my wow. life I've never had vegan oh, cheesecake yeah. this good in my wow. life. Wow. I, I knew you. And I've been around. Mmm. <laughs> wow, the term is Amazing, so, right? Wow. And remember, I told you I studied everything. Why did I start? This is like... I, I, okay, guys. I have to say, like, this is like a gourmet food. I mm. mean, really. I it cannot describe it in a different way. Five-star plant-based cuisine. F yeah. Definitely, if I would see it, like, in a... This is like... Belongs to the top hotels. Like, really. Oh, my God. I didn't hear that uh, one. Really. Okay. Like to the top top hotels, like this is like the, the gourmet food, like in the top top level. I mean, five stars, five stars, Plant definitely. If you have more than five stars, definitely five it's star even more than five stars. Cuisine. Yes, oh, if Jamaica good. had a star rating in this restaurant so far, this yeah. is a very good first impression. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, 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 okay. Oh, continue with the tiramisu, he continues with the charcoal. I'm here now. Mm. Okay, I have to go for the for the charcoal as well, you know. Mm -hmm. Try because I saw your reaction. It's so good. The tiramisu is also very good. Okay, I have it. Let's see. The flavor kind of hits you a second yeah. after. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Like no, um, okay. It oh, starts you know, very, very, very slow. Slowly, and then it's like and 100%. Low. <laughs> wow. And that's what food should do, right? Wow. Yeah. Food, should, it should, food should be conversational also. Wow. Amazing. All right. I mean, the coconut that you feel over there, it's amazing, it's amazing also. Right? Yeah, just in the end, you get the, yes. the hint of the coconut, basically. In the end, yeah. There shouldn't be no overpowering of any one flavor, right? Flavor, and that's why food pairing and also food combination is extremely important. If you just can come here because oh, the light. yeah the light when it's against the camera so it makes it darker so okay. yeah now it's perfect the light is on you okay perfect wow oh, this one mm. it reminds me of my childhood oh, wow. like okay. going going into the the bushes mm -hmm. to look for those blackberry trees wow. and picking them with my cousins okay okay <laughs> nice 
You can I mean, tell, like eating this, you can tell this is not like normal. This is not imported berries. Okay. You can tell, okay, this is a Jamaican wild Jamaican berry. wild berries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I will go on this one. I mean, I don't have the memories from the childhood here in Jamaica. <laughs> but then you can probably pick up something from somewhere. Wow. It tastes different from... It's so good. Right? I mean, I don't know how to describe it, but yeah. definitely not the berries that you get in the supermarket. Right. That's for sure. Right. Wow. That's amazing. I have to tell you that I was not expecting to get this kind of food here. Like, Ooh. I mean, I thought it's good, but this is like a different level of you good. Have, you have exceeded our expectations. Yeah. Oh, give thanks. Wow, amazing. Yeah. amazing. Do you know my birthday is this month? And what I'm eating right now, it feels like happy early birthday and happy Christmas and happy everything yeah. in one. Oh, wow. I'm so happy that you came with me also, you yeah. know, that um, because definitely you are the one to bring to um, a restaurant after yes. the first one that we did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like I told you before, I start to tell you, before we get the desserts from him, you should really focus on... I will. On food. I, I will. think like this is your desire. I see, I I I see it. it in your eyes. Yeah, I see it in your eyes. I love and uh, yeah. So that's the chocolate. Tell me what do you think in the comments, guys? I think her channel should be 100% on food. Like, okay, this one is chocolate. So that's chocolate. Chocolate, with chocolate with berries, but I, I taste the beets. fennel. Okay. Or cardamom. Oh no. my oh, god, I like that. I'm liking you. Cardamom, mm. fennel. Mm -hmm. Wow, so many flavors. Very so good. many yeah, deep flavors. Should have a, we should do a food thing together. Okay. <laughs> I like that. Your palate is amazing. She's good. She's good. She's gonna be a good, uh, be a uh, big YouTuber. It's just a matter of time. <laughs> I tell him her all the time. Yeah. And I think now she found her desire, so it's good. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful way to pick that up. Amazing. Wow. It's good. Mm -hmm. For me, it's so many flavors, and it's all very gentle. Like it's not one of them on the top. Like yeah. exactly. take that's control. Like, as again, as I said again, that's how you need to. Food. Oh, perfect yeah. and, and for my cakes very balanced it's so right it's so many things but also essential oils are amazing mm. for you wow. wow so you're eating my cakes you're eating for your eyes you're eating for your wow. nervous system you're eating because <laughs> we know as a i cannot believe that i'm eating actually nutrition nutrient oh, in desserts as yeah. a herbal physician right we studied uh, from a cellular level, we study the fact that we're made up of, we're a structure made up of systems. Yes. And if one system is out, two, it three, four systems else. are going to be yeah. out. So therefore, we feed you from that level. Yeah. You know, so how does the physical structure, the systems, how does herbs and spices mm. help to keep these alive? That's what we do. Here at Musu. Wow. Wow. What is that? Okay. This is, looks so beautiful. Oh, I mean, so look one, at the colors, the guys. Mango? Yeah, that one is the, is the white mango. You also so recognize mango before you taste. taste. <laughs> I could never do that. <laughs> I mean, like, okay. I'll wait for your reaction. Let's see. Mm. Wow. Well. The top ends up really slowly and then so that start one, to get more that and more. Or the tiramisu, which one do you like more? What? Sorry, what did you say? Do you like the tiramisu more or the mango one? Wow, the tiramisu was my first, so I don't know <laughs> to tell you because I've been through so many on the way to there. But uh, the tiramisu definitely was one of my favorites. My favorites. But I mean, like all of them are so good, so you cannot say that one of them is better than the other, you know? I love the tiramisu the one term because, because I love coffee tasting okay. things. Okay, so I like love coffee as well. It reminds me of coffee, yeah. Right. Each yeah. of them have their own notes. Yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. This is very like um, ice cream texture you have like to this one. Mm -hmm. mm. This is a very good raw tiramisu. Raw tiramisu. Yeah. All of those that you've had so far here is raw. It's a very the good one, one cook is going to be the one on Christmas cake. I have no words, guys. Right? And really. I do that totally raw, so you want to see my raw Christmas cake. Oh. The first year I did it, I covered the entire Jamaica Observer table wow. that year. And, um, and I did TBJ with that cake for that year. Totally raw Christmas cake. It's amazing. 
I'll do it for your page. Okay. <laughs> this you. one is the fruit one. That's the with the coconut one. cream, right? Right, said? so that's the yes. coconut date the coconut date cream. Okay. This does and taste. I want you to taste that I want her to taste that cream and tell me the spice that's in it. Okay. Right. You're good. So okay. we'll come coconut sugar. Taste tester. Yeah. Mm. This is remind me something from Israel. Really? Mm. Yeah. Oh, this soft. cake, the fruit cake, mm -hmm. it's something that we do as well. Yeah. In the form of cookies. Mm. And in Are a special yeah, because the dates. Exactly. Yeah, because of the dates, a very strong flavor of dates. I really like it. Mm. I really love it. It's something. It really takes me to my childhood. You know, this cake wow. takes me to my childhood. Okay. And you know, plant-based food on a whole is supposed to take you right back. Yeah. To those days. This one, one hundred percent, takes me to my childhood. Yes, my grandmother used to do something with those flavors, and that's amazing. What do you say, coconut sugar? Is that? Hello. <clears throat> I taste something. It's not fennel. That green plant that's really hairy looking. Mm -mm. What is that? Hmm. She got you here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna she tell you what it is because I noticed you're mixing that flavor up. It's the same star anise. This so one's the same one. Right, but the star anise now has the coconut essential oil. You oh. need the MCT for your brain. Okay. So and this is a basil on the and top. That's basil on the top. Wow, the grown from my garden. Combination. Mm. All the both herbs there, including the lettuce, are reaped from my garden for you to get. All right. Yeah. So, so basically, the basil gives you such a twist to the taste, exactly. and it's amazing. And, and it's people don't normally put um, herbs with desserts. That's mm -hmm. a mistake. It makes them taste amazing. so amazing. Yeah. I actually I mean, have um, supply of vegan pastries to some of the restaurants in town. I normally put cardamom and uh, yeah. fennel, fennel seeds in my Cardamom pastries. is also very popular in the Arab, uh, yeah. Arab cuisine, yeah. Oh. Like they use it on a lot of um, sometimes on a, some desserts over there. Like it's not very popular in Jamaica. Yeah, in Jamaica. If you go less. out there and ask someone, do you know what cardamom is? They'd be like, huh? Okay, <laughs> okay. A lot of spices are not. So I let you. Oh, so far, guys. Finish up that, and then I'll. See yeah, for sure. Next. Thank you. Okay. You have more tea. That you can share. Yeah, the that's the smell that came to me a while ago. So this is curry jackfruits okay and it's served with a side of halaloo dumpling and the, okay. oat, the, the flour for that is oat flour and this is our rustic sweet potato mash okay. and this is our aki okra and bean wow Ooh. that's served beautiful with the same and i'll take it so yeah it looks like like an ice cream basically Very nice. so i tell you let's guys we're just gonna make a thumbnail and we'll get back to you because we want to try the food and tell you how it is Okay, so um, wow, looks okay, really so good. Let's share it share, exactly. Yeah. Let's put it in, like, or maybe we put a little of both in. So the only thing that needs to be shared is this one because exactly. everything else is the yeah, same, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So I will put some of this here. Yeah, you took a shot of it already. Yeah, we took like a shot of what? Of the food. Yeah, we already took a shot of okay. the food, guys, so we can continue and like. Uh, Oh, the aki looks so good yeah. with the okra. Yeah, that's it. And you can put it yourself because I'm with the camera right here, so I cannot right. do that. Okay. That looks good. Right. Sure that it's also gonna taste good. I think so. It should be interesting. I mean, after the desserts. We have no, no yeah. we have, we ha we don't expect any less, right? Yeah, exactly. I'm actually not really a fan of aki. I haven't had aki in. I stopped eating aki when I was about twelve years old. There and is I, a reason and, for that? Um, I just, I didn't really like the way, even when it tasted good. Yes. It would kind of hurt my tummy. Okay. So I just stopped eating it for a while, but overall I wasn't like crazy about the taste. So you were really aware that this is specifically are not doing to you any good, like this specific yeah. fruit. Mm -hmm. oh, 
this is because sad. what is acidic like why is that maybe it was the way they were cooking it i don't know or gotcha. maybe it was just a mental thing you know when you're young you're like i don't like this and you're yeah. like oh my belly is hurting okay, me okay yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So maybe that's it. So this is like the seasoning for the salad? For the salad. So that's okay. our honey our honey herb dressing. So we can share it, right? We can share it, yeah. It's that's very good. powerful. Okay. So let's just try the salad after we put some seasoning. Wow. It's very good. powerful and very good. Yeah, I love salad. Wow. And why, why do I use this herb in particular? I use the, the basil that I grow myself and this was from my garden. So what the basil does, um, it, it has a lot of health benefit. But one that stands out mainly for me is that it mobilizes mucus from the body. Mm. So I would put lemon juice in that. The lemon juice would help to break up the mucus and then the basil mobilizes it out of the body. I get you. Okay. Wow. <laughs> wow. This is like um, a really good explanation about the benefits of that. Benefits yeah. Of Okay, let's try the aki here. Mm. I really love aki, by the way, guys. And it doesn't do anything to my tummy, so yeah. I'm good with it. And we don't overcook our aki because it's a fruit that is already good. I think maybe, wow. maybe that's the reason why it used to hurt my tummy when I was younger. Because most Jamaicans really cook it down. They put a lot of salt. And yeah, I just didn't like it. So I'm, I'm interested to try this aki. Oh, so you used to have stomach ache from the aki? Well, if I have cooked aki, which was as as early as yesterday, once I have the aki cooked, it hurts my stomach, like it bloats my stomach. And okay. Right. So. Once it's raw, I'm amazing with that. I've raw never had raw aki. I've never had raw aki. So this aki. is semi raw. We'll do a raw aki for your for your um your page. Okay, this is okay. interesting. Yes. Okay. So it's good that I I understand that mm. somebody else is that. Wow, right. Yeah. yeah. Fabulous actually, food, really. I actually didn't eat aki for maybe 10 years, 12 years. I just stopped eating aki. Because of that? For many years, yeah. So she, what she's a, saying, it it's true. It was a combination though. I, I can't really remember. It was a combination of, of me not really liking how people cooked it. And then sometimes even when it tasted good, I wouldn't feel so comfortable afterwards. Okay. So I just stopped. So yeah, yeah. maybe it was already a combination of psychologically and yeah, really... Right. It hurts you. But I'm an adult now, so I should try uh, again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> First, we're gonna try again. Yeah. Oh, okay. So what's the flavor like? For me, it was amazing. But for you, what do you think? Like, I will try the curry here. I, I love this salad. Wow. It has a jackfruit taste. Wow, the That's jackfruit. The wow, this is our try to figure it out. Wow. I like it. It tastes like a fruit. Right. So you know. It doesn't taste like cooked food. Cooked food. Wow, so the jackfruit is amazing. That's what, as, and as you know, it's good to eat anything 80%, mm. at least 80% raw. So what we do with our jackfruit, we understand that the jackfruit was already cooked by the sun. Well, the aki. Mm. So the aki, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. The, aki, the aki already the, cooked the, by the, the sun. I'm waiting to do that jackfruit with it. That's cooked by the sun too. But so this, the aki is already cooked by the sun, so we just flavor it up and barely give it a little introduction to the heat. And that's done by my 18 year old son. I've never tasted aki like this in my life. Wow. It's wow. really amazing. It's like I'm, it, it even tastes slightly sweet, like I'm eating a fruit, but still tastes savory. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. It's the combination of how he, he spices it up, because you so know you're supposed to balance with a little sweet. I want to try this one. And, Sour salt. That's a roasted sweet potato mash. Is it wow. rusty? <laughs> wow. Does it taste rusty? Yeah, it tastes it really good. I mean, wow. Yeah. This is really good, guys. I mean, you have here jackfruit. Look at that, guys. This is a jackfruit. This is amazing. You get all the flavors from the jackfruit. Because this is like a ripe jackfruit and it's amazing. So it's a ripe jackfruit because again, if I'm to really be honest about how I study food, the science of food and your physical structure, then food, your, food, your fruits are supposed to be ripe. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
You know, in Sri Lanka, they cook the, for example, the, the green, jackfruit. The green one. Yeah. The green one, the yeah. unripe. I do that too, but why the ripe is on my menu is because people don't understand that I'm making ripe jackfruit. Mm. But as I said, it's just the science. It's just what uh, what is important for your physical structure yeah. to assimilate. And for a ripe fruit, it is better because when it when you eat a green food, when you eat green food or ungreen fruit, mm. it takes away from your body. So unripe, it's not good for us. Unripe is not good for Even us. Even the pepper, the, the enzymes, bell pepper. Right, because remember the enzymes, the food needs enzymes to digest. Without right. the enzymes, there's no digestion. And the, the ripe fruit reaches maximum enzymic um, activity for the, the gut. Our digestion system. Digestion. And in nature, we would never pick a green jackfruit. Yeah. yeah. We would so never. Guys, this is like... Uh, you're brilliant. I, I mean... <laughs> For me, curry, it's, uh, I'm not so a fan of curries, but it's, chewy. but it's like super good, like because it's not a regular one, it's not a normal one that you eat, like it's a really gourmet. And it's chewy as well, you know? Wow. The texture. I like the mm. texture. It's got a lot of texture. Yeah. Mm. What is that? Right. And that's a dumpling now. That's one of our best things on the menu too. That's a kalaloo dumpling. So you're getting really dumpling. iron from that dumpling. So you could call it our iron dumpling. Oh, okay. So does this dog, do people with gluten insensitivity have any wow. problems? In no, dog? because gluten. I don't have any um, words to describe what I'm experiencing oh, here, really. How, how this is a whole new experience of Jamaican food. Contaminated is if the oh, goat is prepared the in an environment right. that has gluten. Otherwise, it's a gluten-free mm. grain. Wow. Now this is my not my childhood, this is good. Alright, you used to do well as a in the childhood, man. They used long to eat time, food. Long time in the um cook down clean. You know? Oh my god. But I stopped eating flour. It's a long time I had something like this. Mm -hmm. it's so good. And it's gonna pass right through your physical structure because of the, the fibrous mm -hmm. content that it has. Alright, we have more food. That's wow. <laughs> And you know what this is though, I'm, wow. I, I really want to say, you know what this is, right? It's a kind of clove. Well, I know this. It's a, it's a I forgot the name. First name. This is first name. Mm -hmm. oh. First name? Yes, and this has more omega-3 than fish. It has more omega this one, than more fish. more omega-3 than fish. Three or six, one of them, one. but it has rye. Mm -hmm. Okay. It has more omega Don't get confused, than... Guys. This is the basil and this is the parsley. Right, and this now is... But this is coriander. This is the cilantro. Cilantro. Yes, cilantro is coriander. So this is the cilantro, mm -hmm. and then this is parsley. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cilantro is coriander. Yes. 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 Okay. The That's one is a seed, seed and mm -hmm. one, and some people call it different depends on yeah. where you gotcha. are. So and we have a friend right here. Look. Right. So Lenny. just to show you that the it's food organic. is totally organic, <laughs> they follow me around. Here's a little. Here's a little. Um, and this is oregano, or they call it yes. French yes. thyme. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That grows yes. a lot of places in Jamaica. My mom has right. a green hair garden. Very All powerful right. oil. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Wow. This is. Try. I've never had ackee like this in my life. Really? Never. I mean, I also... It tastes very different from how we traditionally make it. Because it's like 80 per, only 20% cooked, cooked, right? Yeah. It's nice. I like it. For me, it's amazing because... Yeah. But I'm not... You know, I can compare like you because... I'm not living here mm. like all my life like you. Mm. But definitely, from my experience here, two months that I'm here, never tried this also. Right. And the salad is also very interesting, let's say. The seasoning is very good. Yeah, it's very interesting. Very interesting. Mm. Yeah, I think like... Uh, now I understand also why this restaurant is very expensive. Mm -hmm. you know? I get it. I mean, like the location and the rent also is very high because it's located in a very central area in Uptown. Yeah. But the food is like on another level. It's <clears throat> healing food. And we know that in life, anything that's healthy is very expensive. When my friends and coworkers tell me what their grocery bill is per month, I just say, must be nice to be you. But I don't want to be them because they're not eating right. That's good. My bill is maybe tripled the times their bill because I'm buying natural foods. And it's very weird. You, want, you, you, try, you start to think... You know, it should be the other way around. It's like the world, they don't want us to be healthy. 
they make the healthy food very expensive and the foods that are basically going to make you sick are dirt cheap the organic is so expensive to buy very yeah, yeah. Like, you have to be in a way in a lot of places like a rich mm -hmm. person to get this and a lot of families you know cannot handle this also in my country which is and why it's important to grow your own food if you can I agree and I think like this is where God leads us yes. in a way you know yes he wants us to show he wants to show us the way of you cannot trust the system anymore yeah you become too expensive yeah you should do it by yourself mm -hmm. this is the way you should live Go back to the villages, to village life, yes. out countryside. Natural life, healthier life. Yeah. And yeah. I think Portland here like, is the best example to that. Portland for that. is nice. Yeah. Ooh, I really like Portland. Wow. Ooh, I'm going to taste the rustic sweet potato. That's amazing. And the dumpling. It's filming, right? <laughs> That's true. We also need to see the red light. Wow. Let's see ours wow. first. Very good challenge. So building your burger, building your living food and Jesus burger. Alright, this is the mm, final fine. result. This is how it should be, guys. No, ours should look better. Ours, ours should look better than this. Right? And we have some fries here. Right, so this fries, again, it's done by my son. And this mm. one is oh, the baked Boro one. Boro banana. Boro banana. It's a seared, Boro banana. It's seared so it's an alkaline um, fries. It's not fried, it's not baked, it's seared. Oh, nice. Okay. So it takes a while to just get it nicely done with it. Let's try this. Wow, it's so crispy mm, and so soft from the inside. Perfect. I feel like I'm eating fried. Yeah. Like, but, but, but better, even better, 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 better mm -hmm. for sure. Better, much healthier. I can taste. I can taste the origin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Now for the burger challenge. Okay, burger challenge. Yes. I'm going to assemble the most beautiful burger you ever saw. <laughs> wow. And you have also the onions here. Okay. Let us begin. Okay, so this is the pressed plantain, right? Pressed yes. fried plantain. Yes. Mm. It's going to be the most beautiful burger you ever saw. Mm. Have some of these beautiful greens sticking out the sides. Oh, this is art. Food is art. Food is art. Right. I am making art. Art. As a as a creative person, this is very very much up my alley. Okay. Nice. And now the cherry on the top. Okay. That looks really good. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, that's so good. Actually, this should be down here. <laughs> yes. And some of these. There is some sequence that we need to follow. Yes. You. There is a method to my madness. What is this? Is this supposed to go <laughs> in there? sauce, but you can use it either. This oh, way or okay. That way. Can I? Can I? Yes. Can I? I don't have anything to take it up. Can okay. I just use this one? I think you have a spoon here. Where the spoon is here? Yeah. yeah. Well, with the, there is no with spoon. The fork. Yeah. No, but it's okay. I, think, I like, prefer this have, one. I yeah, can draw it. You yes. can draw it. <laughs> yes. Okay. And the next one. So these sauces are also natural. Right. They're all natural. Like mimicking the mayo. Right. There's no eggs at all. We do no eggs at all. I didn't know sauce was there, I would have layered the sauce, but it's okay. It might not taste as good as yours, but it looks... <laughs> but I'm gonna turn to something that you did your way. What's that? <laughs> it's upside down. It's upside down, yeah. Well, I saw it from the beginning. I saw it from the beginning. <laughs> Look at that, guys. 
She put it like upside down. I didn't want to say anything because I was sure she's got, she knows what she's doing. Okay, there we go. <laughs> but, but yeah, now she flipped it. It's right side up now. No, that's pretty. Yeah. That's pretty to get from the side. Isn't that beautiful? Wow, beautiful. Yeah, I think that. like just a second. Also, let's. I think like this is also could be a nice thumbnail. Yes, I think? think so. Yeah. Okay, guys, what do you think about this thumbnail? This is how you take a thumbnail. Hey. So let's do like that to okay. the camera. To yes. the camera. Okay. Wait, hold on. Okay, one. One, two, three. Three, four. <laughs> oh, are we actually biting it? Mm. I just opened my mouth. <laughs> wow. Wow. So that's a jerk burger. That's amazing. Mm. Mm. I really love it. It gave him the right one because I don't like spicy food. <laughs> mm. That's a charcoal. Wow, look at the, the bun. Charcoal bun? Mm -hmm. mm. Look at that, guys. Good job. We become like the food vloggers that they do, they have like an endless appetite. You can eat like kilograms of food and you don't understand how they do it, you know? <laughs> when I practice. watched them in the past, yeah. I mean, it's really difficult, but we are lucky to see like, here like the food is really light. So it's pretty, it makes it much easier and it's really tasty as well. Mm. What did you want to say? Since coming to Jamaica, your stomach size, their capacity to eat has increased, right? <laughs> I think because I was sick, I had dengue. You remember? So I didn't eat. I haven't eaten for like four days, five days. Mm. Oh no, you're hungry. It shrinked mm. my stomach in a way that, you know, and I lost weight also. Yes. So yeah. So now you're just coming back up. Definitely. He always finishes food before me. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I have a problem, guys. I don't know if you pay attention to it because you see me a lot eating on my vlog. And I eat too fast. So fast. <laughs> so, I mean, yes. I mean, I make it very hard for my digestion system, for my digestion, digestive system. Because I'm not chewing my food. I'm actually swallowing my food. And I need really to change this habit. I tried several times. Every time I try this, I'm able to concentrate for like two minutes and then I forget it and then get back to it. It's really hard, it's a habit. I don't know why I'm doing it. Maybe, I don't know, like maybe it's from previous reincarnations. I don't know, maybe I was a very, I was homeless in the street and I was struggling for food and this is still continues with me because I feel every time that I eat, it's like a mission to, to finish the food. So I'm also trying to, finish everything that I see on my plate. Did you, did you used to work and a nine to five and eat at the same time? Were you very busy and eating at the same no, time? No, I was take some time oh. and dedicate some time from my food, but I was so all it's the a bad habit. It's a bad habit. Bad habit that I'm, that also my mother. I do that too. Some people but I win everyone. People tell me I'm eating fast, and then it, they look at my food, they say, you finished, oh yeah. And I said like, man, you thought you ate fast until you met me. <laughs> I, it's the same thing with me too, I try to, and you're right, when you try to, okay, you know, this is not with me, let me try it. I'm like, okay, let me do the first one. Mm. <laughs> yeah, then boom, and you swallow, and you don't chew, and yeah, yeah it's... It's crazy for the digestive system. And yeah, I think like that it's also good to eat with sticks, like the mm -hmm. Japanese Japan, and Chinese, yeah. because like you are forced to slow down. To slow, mm -hmm. to no, slow down. That's a point. That's a, yeah. that, that's a takeaway from this video for me. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get bamboos here. I need to. That, that's yeah. a good, but but some of them like even them like they, they go they eat the ramen so that they take a lot of noodles together. No, so, yeah, I, I, so I, I can like, eat fast with chopsticks. Just, exactly. Oh, if you are really you know, expert, if you're in a hurry, if you're in a hurry, yeah. Exactly. You can explain to us a little bit about the juices, Gary. All yeah, right. You so can of start. course, you know the juices are cold pressed. So there's no sugar added, and there is absolutely no water added to our juices. So whatever the creator sends us, we just put it through the cold press machine, and you get it. So I'll tell you this one, which this one is all-time favorite. No, I'm like, all the juices are 
really really good so people are getting all of them right so this is the pine pine and ginger so pineapple and ginger the seeds of the ginger the skin the flesh everything wow. is in here except the greens on top pineapple by the way is uh is good for digestion good for digestion except after food, food it's one of the only fruit that you can eat after uh, meal. yeah after yeah. meal exactly okay. and then do not when you're making your pineapple juice do not remove the core that's where most of the really is the in. one that yes. everyone throws mm -hmm. so that's where most of the nutritional benefits I didn't know that. Right. And then you know it has the seed. So when we cold press it, you're getting so much. You're getting the oil strong. Skin seeds, and everything. Everything. <laughs> and then right here we have spicy sea. And spicy sea wow. is citrus with cayenne pepper. And okay. of course, this is good I for I see the red dots mood. over there. Right. So it's a little bit spicy. It is spicy. It is spicy, not a little bit. It is spicy. Okay. So it's very good for your immune system and why we use the cayenne pepper is because cayenne pepper helps in absorption. Alright. Right. So then this here is the pineapple sorrel and ginger. Okay. Mm. So this is amazing. That's a Christmas drink. Sorry, sorry in Sorry. Or you sorry. Call ah, sorry it's like hibiscus. Yeah. Hibiscus. Right. Mm. So and then I think that there's a repeat of that one. This is our clean wow. green juice and this is what we use to do our detoxes so you know we beg you guys don't be putting the food down all the time you heal your your physical structure fasting faster yes. when you fast juice is fast juice is fast we have juice fast right you have you can do juice, juice fast. fast and why it's called a fasting is because the fiber is removed okay all right so and as i said before this is the fastest way to get your juices to your physical structure from a cellular level so you're healed faster and i mean when you do especially the fruit juices it gets into the mucus and pull it out so knowing the right combination will get your get over the top of mucus from the body faster and then this is watermelon so this Ooh. one we call this the natural viagra mm -hmm. okay the watermelon the peel right, right. the so skin we use everything so mm -hmm. we just okay. wash we use the rind seeds everything so i have i have men that come here and they drink these two only i have a client that after three bottles of this is like oh my god i was diabetic and i could not and now i am oh, really strong and Right, so we have, um, we're very, we're very proud about presenting this and why do I present food this way is because I believe, I believe in food, I believe in food from a biblical standpoint, you know, where your food should be healing you and every single thing that we offer here at Living Food and Juices, I'm certified in it. Okay. So I'm able to speak on it and stand by my products. That's good. Right, so. That's good. What about these little bottles? So these little bottles. So both gone. of them, by the way, like you said, are natural Viagra. The pink one. Right. Both the, of them. No, both, both of them. them. Yeah, both of them. Right. Both of them. So, so them. Mer from mer watermelon, I know about his uh, his uh, effect, but like this one, what is so, the effect? So this has a, what this does is it, it's, it cleans. Okay. So what a lot of us don't know is that when you when when a man when men get important, right? Yes. It is basically that blood is Toxins, not flowing. Right? Yeah. E, okay. Right. Blood like is not flowing. Kind of a blockage. Right, because it's a very tiny space, and if the prostate is, is over so, a sole or whatever and squeeze on that, you see what happens? It flows. Yes, right? so okay. It's the same thing for the spermatozoa as well, right? So when when not when you're not flowing as much and you have this that is anti-inflammatory, anti-mucus, anti-fungal, anti-bacterial. Um, that's what our green juice does. It removes heavy metals from the body. We make sure to put all those herbs in um, to pull that out, those out. So when you have this, especially you're doing a cleanse, it cleans up the entire system right. and allows movement. So basically this one is also good for the prostate? It is, of course. Okay, and also this one? Or like so, it's, so it's good for the prostate, it's good for the blood. This one is just, it, this overall one is just an overall amazing juice. So right? okay. it will fix you overall. Yeah. Right. I and think after your shot. explanation about this one, I'm gonna take this one. The fixing uh, system uh, juice, yes. Right. And What's then, inside? So this one is so many things. So we have um, we have cucumber, you know that looks good for um, good for hydration and other yeah. stuff. So they have cucumber, pak choy, um, chocho, chayote. Mm -hmm. 
you don't okay. know what chowte is, it's the same thing as chayote. And um, string beans, um, kale, nice. ginger, turmeric, lemon. Okay. And we go on yeah. and on and on. Okay. Like really antibiotic. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Cleansing. Uh, the immune system yeah. and get mucus from the body. So if you, if, so we offer a cleanse from a juice similar to this. So after we, we do, uh, if you're ready for a cleanse, we do offer a consultation. Okay. So after the consultation, I can literally look in your face and tell you what are some of the issues that's going on with you. And then wow. I fashion the juice. So the that whole plan. Right, and then on this we do like a seven day, ten day, you know, seven, fourteen, and twenty one days are the healing days. Nice. So we offer you those cleanse packages or whatever you can afford. I like that. And those numbers. When you when you do those packages, I mean, I'm telling you, things happen. I have a client here yeah, that was on it. I'm not sure she's going to want to say anything. Hello, client over there. So she did. The, so cute she is. <laughs> Yeah. She did the green juice cleanse and she had fabulous, fabulous results. I don't know if she wants to say anything. You want to say anything? <laughs> you can just confirm. I confirm. Oh, that's it. Okay. I confirm. Okay. There's something that removed. Okay. That's amazing. <laughs> Beautiful. Right, so these though are the wellness shots. Of course, activated charcoal shot. This removes toxins from the body. Okay. All right, so we say don't take this when you're taking, if you're taking medication or if you're ta if you're eating your lovely food full of nutrients, activated charcoal it's sees pull. everything yeah. as toxins, so it pulls nutrients too. But I had a, a chef friend in the UK who makes this beautiful bread, okay. activated charcoal bread. It is, I tasted that bread, I was like, oh, wow. he eats that bread every day. And he started getting oh, very sick. very bad. He started over very sick. Yeah. And he was like, why am I getting sick? I'm eating only plant-based food. And he went to the doctor. The doctor's like, We're, there's no nutrients in your body. Yeah, charcoal and then does that. That's what happens. Yeah. Charcoal exactly. is like something you take. Like, it's like, you, like you got food poisoning mm -hmm. or something, you would like take a shot of that. Or you, you oh, can go on a charcoal cleanse, but you only do this like after you're finished eating at night. Yeah, before you sleep. When you digest right. and oh, everything, okay. so you have it at night. I normally put my clients on seven to eight days, just night of So this. basically in that fasting period where the body is moving toxins out and assimilating, um, moving the toxins out, that's when you would take that. Right, yeah. but this would be the one. I would not give you this to take with your nice green mm. juice. You take it, would it when you're finished with, exactly. Yeah. When you're finished with everything and your juice has been absorbed and there's just ways to be eliminated mm -hmm. at rest time. Yeah. Then you take this. Is this seaweed? I mean, seaweed moss? No, this is actually an anti mucus okay. um, uh, shot. So it has, of course, activate. It, it has. Um, uh, uh, come on, this tea, I'm lost now. So it has garlic. Okay, okay. I'm a side of vinegar and lemon juice. Right, okay. so much. Right, so this one definitely pulls mucus. Literally, I have plants that come and just do this at one shot and be like, Wow, where Everything does come out, right? New is just yeah. running from all. Okay, okay. And this is the yeah. wellness classic. It's an overall wellness classic. So if you have a flu or anything, this is one of the ones that you can come in and take as well. This Tumor. is anti-inflammatory. So the turmeric, of course, and within the turmeric, we put the cayenne, we put the cayenne pepper. pepper. But also remember that turmeric needs a spice to release the cure right, cumin. Right. Does it make sense? Eat or drink um, yeah, turmeric I've heard by that. itself. Yeah, right? which is why generally like curry dishes end up having the cayenne pepper or something cayenne spicy pepper, together. Ginger, yeah. Or black pepper. However, we do not use black pepper in ours because we want to keep our men flowing and the black pepper will block the oh, okay. all right so we put yeah. the cayenne pepper and the ginger okay so but this is a very spicy one very spicy i mean like it's just this one and this one that's not very spicy no they're not spicy. right but so this the, is the all charcoal the the tr those three are mm -hmm. spicy and it's best to have them spicy you know the cayenne pepper spice doesn't stay yeah, yeah. once it burns and it just leaves well, okay it doesn't exactly. stay it's, okay it's not like the habanero you know the habanero the habanero is crazy yeah. It's crazy. So it's not like those. Those will burn and make your eyes run. And da, da, da. Yeah. Once you have this, it's just like pop everything and start going. Okay, and like wasabi goes. style. Exactly. You know, okay. wasabi will just open yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. 10 seconds and typically, it's typically. go away. Yeah. No, this is a powerhouse. Okay. This took five years to grow. Mm. This is known in the real root in Jamaica we call it what noni so it's not noni yes <laughs> so nice. this is powerful this this mashes up cysts and 
very broad and pull it out of the system is good for the overall, the overall immune system. You have flu, come run for this. However, this is not just the noni. This also is aged with um, guinea hen weed. Ooh. And you know, guinea hen weed removes yeah. mucus like nobody's That's business. Big one. Okay? Yeah. And then what we encourage you to do is to add the cayenne pepper to this for mm -hmm. absorption. That's my presentation. Ah, it's lovely. Jerry, thank you so, so much nice. for so hosting welcome. us. Really, yeah. it was a pleasure. Amazing. Uh, I mean, I gourmet really. Food. Yeah, amazing <laughs> gourmet food. Really, it's a gourmet food, guys. Yeah. If you happen to be in Kingston, you are visiting, vacation, live here. Yeah. I really recommend you to come in and check this restaurant because I believe that after one time, you're just gonna go back and back yes. and back. So you this is for the gourmet, sorry, for the gourmet feel and look and reality of the food. Yeah. I wanted to, after I finished all my studies, I wanted to bring something to Jamaica that is plant-based but different yeah. and at the same yeah. time healthy. Yeah. You know, you can come in, you can sit, you can... Yeah. I have people come in here all half a day, they're in here. This is nice. Do you like, a lot of people so host like of birthdays, course, like birthdays, if I wanted to have like events. a... A brunch with my girl. Of or course, something. anything. Yes, and then we nice. talk girls health doing that. We do a lot of things. That's nice. Reading, anything yeah. you want, you can come. So uh, that's what I intended to do. So I wanted it to do fine, be fine dining and all it's of that. Very and nice. then COVID shook the same year uh, before. And I'm like, God, show me something that can survive after this. Because no fine dining, plant based restaurant would survive after yeah, COVID. Yeah. And I, then I'm yeah. like, what is it that people really love that I can do in a healthier form? And my staff have been amazing. Shout out to my staff. They're amazing people. Their family, their family and my staff are amazing when it comes to this. You know, put everything in. So they came in and they were working and I was home trying to find out, you know, what can I do? And I know somebody's gonna shy out, but this is family, this is staff, this is teacher, this is everything. Uh -huh. <laughs> you see, I fall and she helped me. This is who she is. That's so amazing. in real life, nature to right? I wanna hug her right here. Ooh. That's really <laughs> so she is she's just like I remember when one business person died, big business person, he said my staff are my dream catchers. I dream and they catch it up. That's ah. beautiful. And this is what's happening with That's Turner. not easy to find a good yeah. partners, a good employees yeah. that yeah. you can trust. And, and that's not my belief for her. She's now become my sister. And I remember when I was interviewing her, I said to her, we want people that can come and be a part of this so one day you can be part owner and she is going to be 2024 That's i can say 2024 she's going to be the first part owner of this wow yeah. congratulations congratulations here not just the food you know sometimes i'm out there because we have a property over there in st thomas a 60 acre property where we're going to this is just a doorway to what's going to be happening that's beautiful over here. Yeah. you know where all my studies of being a plant-based physician and all that is going to come to life you can come there i mean there's water on the land we're close beautiful, nice. we beautiful. we ran wow. a little bit we ran out of battery so <laughs> i will have to finish right. okay guys I will put the link to Living Food and Juices. You saw our experience here, guys. I will put the link to the Instagram. I will put the link to the Google Maps so you can reach here. I put two coconut sugar so you can also follow her on YouTube. And remember, like, share, subscribe. And we see you on the next one from this beautiful restaurant here in Kingston.